what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be sharing news i found out about the box office expectations for the upcoming halloween film coming out next in the few in the next two months done by david gordon green and danny mcbride as we all know this new film is going to be taking place 40 years after the original film laurie strode has been going through suffering from ptsd ever since those fateful events that occurred on halloween night in 1978 and in this new film michael myers is going to escape he's going to go back to haddonfield uh laurie strode is going to go looking for him and they're going to have one final confrontation um so over the weekend a website pro dot box office they put up an article stating that halloween is on is on um, on its way to making somewhere between 50 to 60 million dollars in opening weekend those were the numbers that I read now what's going to happen if it does that is it would surpass the second place held by uh, currently held by the paranormal activity film the first spot is held by the it film that came out last year now if Halloween can surpass 121 million dollars on its opening weekend then it would have the highest grossing highest grossing weekend for an r-rated horror film since last year's it just like how it surpassed paranormal activity last year that was um and paranormal activity have been holding that for i want to say 10 years if i'm not mistaken i could be mistaken by some of these things but on that website i'm going to leave a link to the description I'm going to leave a link to it down in the comment section. It stated that Halloween is is going to make an estimate of somewhere between 50 to 60 million dollars in that three day time frame. I'm going to go a bit higher and say that I expect it to make 90 million. I do think that that's possible because as the um, as the release date becomes as the as we start approaching the release date more and more, there's going to be more ads for the movie. People are going to start talking about it more. You'll start seeing tickets selling. Uh, before the movies even premiering weeks before the movies even coming out actually next week I think next week is really gonna play a factor in what happens because it's set to have its world premiere at the Toronto Film Festival next weekend and I know Dave McCray who is a well-established youtuber he's going to be attending that since he's in Toronto he's been covering the Halloween the 2018 Halloween film heavily on his channel his, his videos are amazing I would definitely recommend checking him out uh, He's going to do the same thing that I'm going to do. He's going to do a review, and he's not going to sugarcoat anything. He's going to be straightforward. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to tell you what I liked about the movie, what I disliked about it, how I think they could have improved on it, why I liked it, what I think worked for the film, what didn't work for the film. Because nowadays with moviegoers, what you get is a lot of people will watch movies. They will say things about them as whether they do or don't like them, but then they can't back up what they're saying. But then they're also heavily critic. They're they're also one to say don't listen to the critics, uh, because they're overly critical. But they themselves don't offer anything in regards to why they like something or why they think something is bad. They'll just say it's bad, and then they say you shouldn't watch it, but they can't tell you why you shouldn't watch it. Me personally, if you tell me a movie is bad and you can't tell me exactly why it's bad, and you just start going through a list of things you didn't like, and you're not giving any credit to anything in regards to the movie or what went wrong with it or what went right with it. I am still going to watch the movie because you are not reli you are not being reliable to me. You are not backing up anything of what you're saying. You're not telling me what was wrong. You're not telling me why you thought the movie was bad. Because if a movie is not able to catch your attention, that's not really something that's wrong with the movie. That just means you don't have an interest in what's going on on screen. Uh, me, for example, I always like to use Titanic as a reference. I can recognize that Titanic is a well-crafted film. It has some some of the best acting from the late 90s. Uh, the romance between Leonardo DiCaprio and his on-screen love, who I can't think of right now. Uh, I can't think of her name. I think the chemistry between them was absolutely amazing. Uh, the story the story being told on screen was amazing. The soundtrack was amazing. I think the director did a fantastic job directing the film. I am just not into those type of movies, but that does not mean that Titanic is a bad film because that's what a lot of people will do. They won't be into a movie and then they will not give credit to things that are redeemable in regards to that movie. They'll just say the whole entire thing is crap or it's it's not good. It's not bad. And that's just not I don't think that's fair to the movie because it didn't catch my it didn't catch my interest that now I'm going to say the whole entire thing was bad that's what I'm not going to do when I review Halloween 2018 I'm not going to 
sugarcoat anything and just call it good because it's the first movie in the series that we've gotten in, in over close to 10 years. If the movie sucks, I'm going to tell you why it sucks. If the movie is good, I'm going to tell you what worked. And I'm going to tell you how they still could have improved. Because even if a movie is good, there's always room for improvement. That's why I never say, you'll never hear me say on this channel that I give a movie a 10 out of 10. You just won't. There's no such thing as a 10 out of 10 movie. That's me. That's my honest opinion on how I see movies these days. Um, that's this is just a quick video on the box office for the ha Halloween movie. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video.